Hello and welcome uh, to Gaming Zero with you in another uh, video about uh, Warframe uh, Ladies and Tenomen. Today's video is about Kuva Ogres. Based on your request, you guys keep saying, Han, can you make for us the Kuva Ogres? And there you go, guys. So, to understand the, the weapon, as I always do, beginner's uh, approach uh, we take. So, the Kuva Ogres is the Kuva variant of the normal Ogres. There is a normal Ogres, so uh, you know. It's just higher increase of damage and state of chance and uh, so on. This weapon does a primary blast uh, damage. Direct hits have a guaranteed impact uh, proc. As well, the rocket explodes in 7.9 meter radius, which is very, 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 very uh, good. The initial hit and explosion applies status separately. Explosion does not need direct line of sight to deal damage and will penetrate a wall, so it has punched through. So it is AUE uh, blast, not uh, because there is many, many weapons. They are just a visual effect of blast, and they are not a blast. And there is some that are blast, but that doesn't uh, penetrate uh, walls. Explosion inflicts self stagger, so if you uh, hit the ground or surface near you you're gonna be pulled back that can be uh, removed with um caution shots and so on explosion has a linear damage fall off from 100 to 20 from central impact enemies can destroy the rockets with gunfire or area uh, or area of effect explosions so when your rockets going if they hear it which is like matrix uh, stuff to me oh if they take the bullet and drop it that doesn't uh, work can be fired while sprinting so you can run and hit can be used Ogris ex uh, exclusive uh, Nightwatch Napalm. This weapon have a very specific mode. It's called the Nightwatch Napalm. And I highly recommend you go and get it from Dog Days event. It is available now for 140 uh, these, uh, na um, what do they call it? Nakak uh, pearls. I have a video about it already. It goes as well with the Firestorm if you may you want to make the blast big. But what I think the blast is already big uh, enough and uh, so on. I highly recommend to get this weapon either in hit. Uh, in heat or in uh, toxin all right this today video about the weapon is going to be a toxin uh, weapon because this is the first build i do about ogres uh, kuva ogres in this uh, channel and it has to be toxin as toxin is the best element for kuva weapons uh, that's something you need to know why toxin because toxin you can combine it and get uh, free viral you can combine it and get uh, corrosive you can combine it and get a uh, gas you name it toxin always uh, there okay so we're gonna fight level 175 heavy corrupted gunners uh, using nidus why nidus uh, well one reason only the reason we're using nidus so we don't boost the weapon in any way i don't want to force you to use eclipse i don't want to force you to use uh any helmet ability i don't want you to feel you're obliged to follow me in certain stuff the only thing you're here for is ogris uh, orgis, ogris uh, build all right so there is no reason for me to use a specific frame that will say, ah, this guy using this frame, ah, this guy using this multiplier, ah, he's using this. No. So you're here, you can use any frame you want. Use Excalibur Umbra, use whatever you desire. Okay? That is why I'm using uh, neither so to push the weapon in any uh, way. So we're going to start with a single target, this guy. Uh, but this weapon doesn't have a really single target, but we're gonna try. Here we go. So, in case you know, you're wondering what is this balls in their legs, this is the baby uh, Panzer Vulpophila. I'm gonna show you the build for him as well. He's proking viral for us. They already have 10 stacks of viral, which is around 300 uh, damage. So, here we go. One, as you can see, this is the Napalm uh, effect after you hit. In case you don't know what Napalm This is the second hit. Look at their health. Kaboom, and they're dying. Okay? Look at this. It is a crazy, 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 and you can keep them uh, burning, okay? So, I'm going to collect them uh, all like this to make this a bit... Uh, oh my god, check where I throw it. Okay, so I'm going to just hit them like this for now. Uh, this weapon doesn't have a lot of ammo. Okay, there we go. Kaboom. We're going to be reloading. And you see, that's this uh, stagger I talked to you about. The only thing we can benefit here uh, with Nidus is we can use the third ability and get rid of the uh, stagger. Okay, this weapon is very powerful. I highly recommend it if you uh, don't have it yet. So many of you are saying, ah, Hank, but that was damage multipliers. And I understand you and I hear you and you are right. But that's why we're going to go to relay navigation and then we're going to go to steel path. Uh, okay, so here we go. Seeing is believing, right? So steel path navigation. 
uh, for the players that's new or first time seeing this uh, channel or video or wondering what's going on you're gonna be having the normal origin system which is normal to unlock steel path you need to do a couple of things first thing you need to do is you unlock all the nodes by nodes i mean every single mission in each planet okay then after you do that you go to any relay press escape fast travel station speak to him do the quest or whatever you have and then kaboom you have the steel path steel path have levels and things and different uh, missions and loot than the normal but the end game for it is the void so you get it okay enemy level gonna be plus 100 so enemies that win at level 10 gonna be plus uh 100 which is 110 why are we testing steel path not normal missions not because the level only it's gonna be health and shield and armor gonna be 250 percent and in return of that you're gonna get a resource drop chance and mod uh, drop a chance so we're gonna go void we're gonna go invites only so we don't bother other uh tenos uh, and that was a normal here we go Steel path, uh, there we go. Level 140, 145, that's the start and the beginning. And uh, now remember, there is the Ixilu, uh, Iximus uh, mobs, and they're very, very powerful now. You need to know that very uh, well, okay? I would highly recommend if you're going survival for not long time, let's say you're gonna go for, well, I'll take some friends with you, it's gonna be fun. But if you're going solo or using FK frame, of course you go by FK frames, you know, talk about, talk about Octavia and uh, so on. So we're gonna do one thing only. We're gonna uh, get some uh, stacks for Nidus. So we survive, right? That's the main uh, thing about Nidus. And here we go. So I can move away. And now I can use the third ability. There we go. We're using this one for healings. And there you go. No damage. Nothing. There you go. Cabo. Look at this. And the thing is with the Napalm, you're... Uh, for example, it, it's Inferno, guys. Trust me. It's Inferno. You, the, the, the Napalm will remain there and scale for 90% damage. It's just insane mod. It's like, it's like an augment for this weapon. And it makes it so freaking good it's like you have full control of the area the weapon is not only aoe and because it's using sniper ammo you need to remember this you uh, it's using sniper ammo okay and the blast radius is so big, huge okay still they give you an augment mod it costs 15 platinum uh, from the market, by the way. Or you can get it now. You need to run and get it if you're watching this video. Sadly, the ones that skip the video to the build, they will not uh, know. Probably they're going to get to it platinum. But if you are here still, you didn't skip to the build, you know where you get it from Dog Day's event. If you don't know where is the NPC, it is Nakak in Cetus. You just go there, Nakak, where you get the masks of uh, and so on. To get Revenant, uh, etc. It's right there. For 140 Nakak pearls, so go and get it, so you don't have to get it later for 100 uh, for 15 uh, platinum. It's gonna cost you like around 26,000 uh, Indu to uh, max, or less, less. Sorry, less. Uh, I don't recall exactly the 26,000 was how much I have. I guess last time I checked, so it's gonna cost you probably around uh, 3,000 tops. It's uh, level five. It doesn't exceed. There we go. As you can see, the enemy is dying very, very, very freaking easy. Okay, and we are lucky. We have Vor now, which is uh, awesome. And by the way, guys, so a quick scoop a new Rubico build, the new Victus build, the new uh, Lanka build. The, it's coming uh, soon, as well uh, the Nell uh, uh, Prime Eidolon builds. It's coming, guys. And the new uh, focus school uh, stuff, the passives and everything, it's happening. I'm going to make a guide about it as soon as possible. It is coming, it's on the schedule and so on. But the request being so much asked for uh, Ogres, so I am here guys to uh, deliver. So first thing you do with Vor, always mark him. That's the first thing you want to do. You mark uh, Vor. So because he keep uh, running here and there. And move away from this uh, trap he puts in the ground. As you can see, it takes this weapon takes Vor in very, very, very easy. Some of you one time told me, not some of you, one or two actually, say, Hank, Vor is easy. Vor is not easy in Steel Path. It's just what weapon you're using. If you're using a meta weapon, a strong weapon with the correct build, yes, he is easy. It's not a problem at all, Vor. I mean... 
I can two shot them probably or three shot them with a, a, a glaive prime, but it's not, that's not the deal. There is weapons, he tanks. He, there is weapons. They are not so powerful and they lack that uh, damage to kill for. They kill it, yes, but not as fast. Okay. So keep that in mind, not all weapons are equal and I'm here, my, the biggest goal for the channel is to build every single weapon in all aspects like because every weapon have its own way, every weapon have many style of builds, for example melees you can build them however you want, you can build them faction builds, you can build them uh, like a lot guys, a lot like heavy, you can build them uh, slash and toxin only, that's uh, up to you. Okay, now we have fighting uh, tournament. This is the mini uh, stalker we've been uh, waiting for. Here he is, dashed to us, and the fight begins. Okay, we took down his shield. As you can see, the uh, napalm is working very, very, very well. I'm missing some of the hits, but the AOE and the napalm is working very good. The napalm, I mentioned, in, I'm trying to remind you, the napalm is the augment mod for this weapon, which is causing this area of effect. You see this? It is caused by the uh, augment. There you go. As you can see, it's destroying the enemies. They're here and they're gone. This weapon doesn't joke at all. It is very, very good. And I highly recommend it to you, my friends. Well, how much I highly recommend it? I would say 8 out of 9. Uh, out of 10, sorry. Okay. So, 100% uh, worth the 5 format you're going to be uh, spending uh, on it. As you can, if you don't know if you're a beginner, Kuva weapons, my friend, uh, you're gonna get them till level 30, and then every two levels you will need uh, one forma. So, for example, you are level 30, you're gonna format, and then it's gonna be 32, and then one more forma is gonna be 44 and 46, 48, and then 40, and which you are in max. At that point, you can fit all the mods. The Kuva weapon have extra mod uh, slots by uh, nature, as it exceeding the normal uh, weapon levels. Okay. So in case you're new and you don't know, steel essences from where you get them, there you go. You get them from any mission in Steel Path. As well, you can get Argon Crystals, you can get Orican. Steel Path is a must for you. That's the first thing you need to do is you unlock all the nodes, unlock Arbitration and Steel Path. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to give you as much information as long we're doing uh, this uh, the build for the video. Build, video for the build. Arsenal. Okay, starting to think first thing first. Starting with Nidus. Why Nidus? As I said, there is no bonus with Nidus, but there is a couple things you need to know. First thing you need to know is corrosive projection enemy armor reduced plus uh, minus 80%. It doesn't matter. You can use anything here. It will not affect the weapon in high. Like, it, it's, you're not gonna feel it, okay? Arcane acceleration. On critical hit, 30% chance for 90% uh, ninety percent fire rate to primary weapon excluding shotgun for 9 seconds plus one arcade revive. Some of you would say, hang, but this weapon is... 9% crit and it is wrong to build it in crit. I understand. I totally agree. This weapon is not built for crit, but you will see some crits. And when you do, you're going to have the fire uh, rate. And it happens many times. If you back to the video when we was going in steel path, you're going to see it happened many times. Arcane Rage on headshot, 15% chance for 180% damage to primary weapons for 24 uh, seconds. Uh, on headshot, the... the um, this weapon, like the Brahma, is, is special because it, this is the head, like I mentioned in Brahma before, you're going to do the explosion, right? You're going to do the explosion and this weapon have an augment called the Napam. So you're going to keep having the area of explosion. It uh, eventually will hit the head, okay? And Arcane Rage always will be active for you. And 15% chance, I don't believe it because you always have it uh, active. Okay, moving uh, next, uh, the Panzer Vupafaila. This is the Panzer Vupafaila. Panzer will help you uh, proc viral, will help you proc, uh, I mean, will help you proc viral, will help you, uh, to, will help to keep you uh, alive, and with a lot of other features. There is a full video about the Panzer Vupafaila. Cannot mention it in this video. This is Glaive Prime. I take him, I take it for uh, like safety reasons because I took this weapon for one hour and 35 minutes in uh, Steel Path and I didn't have to use Glaive at all. But I always take Glaive as a help. But let me tell you one thing before I show you the build, guys. I don't. I don't share any build that I wouldn't like for myself. So if I love the build and I like it, I share it with you and I take my time with the builds and I'm sure you love the builds. Okay, so let's go. 
So, Inferno uh, Ogres. So, we're using Galvanized Chamber for 80% multi shot on kill and 30% multi shot for 20 seconds, except to 5 times. That's 150 multi shots plus the uh, 80, that's 230 multi shots. Heavy caliber for 135% damage minus accuracy. You don't need accuracy, as you can see how much we're doing and uh, so on, uh, because it, we are relaying on the blast and area of effect. We're not sniping uh, something serration for extra damage night watch napalm here it is guys rockets dispress napalm uh, inflicting 30 percent damage over six seconds across 90 percent of the explosion area so you hit the, your rocket will hit kaboom 30 percent damage in 90 percent of that area that fire you see uh, around and it can go like many many uh, places it's not uh, one spot depends on the rocket high voltage for electricity and set to chance uh, uh, malignant force for toxin and set to chance and now you're saying hi but the weapon is toxin why you put another toxin that's the trick my friend let me tell you something toxin if you put if you, your weapon is toxin and you enhance it with toxin it gets even better okay but now if you have a, a ribbon with toxin you throw it right here and you get the idea right so if you have a ribbon with fire you throw it instead of hellfire okay so the hellfire is to help the night uh, watch naplam because the night watch naplam when it inflicts the uh, the damage it's gonna burn the enemies if you don't know it if they don't mention this and please 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 de if you ever watch this video or someone can make this video reach to them please tell us the hidden stuff in it not every player is capable or want to go and check warframe wiki please we a lot of players wanting everything in the game guys please correct me if i'm wrong if like we want everything here if a web if a weapon have secret passive if a weapon have something specific put us a button like like here like here details like you put details here you click you click it you see everything inside the weapon like wiki like a wiki in the game i don't want to check guys before building every weapon i need to sit for probably 15 20 minutes reading everything in the wiki i want to do it in the game the wiki is good but i want to do it in the game and there is mods for example how i know the night watch palm is inflicting fire i don't know so i had to know from the wiki so i understand that so it keep burning so i had to put hellfire here to keep the enemies burning and to boost the night watch and you get the idea guys Okay, Vigilante Element, so doesn't know Vigilante Element, uh, multi shot and 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons. You will crit eventually, but the, we are here for the multi shots. Multi shots mean more night watch, mean more crits, and so on. Vigilante supplies convert used ammo pickup into primary weapon ammo pistol, uh, 6 shotgun sniper, uh, 12. All right, this weapon, remember this weapon uh, using the uh, sniper ammo. So remember that, my friend. A primary merciless on kill 30% damage for uh, for second stacks up to 12 uh, times. 30% reload speed and 100% ammo maximum is more than you need. It's 360% more uh, damage. And this build is the best I come up so far without a ribbon, guys. And you can annihilate the star shot if you have a ribbon with the uh, damage multi shot uh, damage multi so multi shot heat you can throw it here damage multi shot toxin you can throw it here uh, and so on guys you, i mean tell me what ribbon i could help you uh, around okay you don't need hand termination because this weapon already uh proking slash as its highest in the radial attack 573 so some of you doesn't tell me hank why you didn't use uh hunter ammunition uh, some of you would say why well, you're not using uh, galvanized uh, aptitude there is a reason for that i am 103 percent set your chance the weapon have very very low critical chance so don't try and make it a critical uh, weapon you can build it to create i'm gonna make a video about making this weapon a critical build but i wouldn't advise it for now as the first video that's let's say more advanced video and so on of course you can use eclipse you can use other multipliers from helmet and so on enjoy play around this is not like i don't know like uh, it's not a status or you can play around remove heavy caliber throw something else throw like remove heavy caliber put the bane multiplier uh throw night watch throw something play around with it feel free and let me know how it works out uh for you guys okay so 
in case you're wondering about my fashion for uh, Nidus, you can find this fashion in the channel or let me know. We have a Discord link in the description if you feel free to join us on Discord and ask your questions and so on. Feel free to add me in game, HankPain underscore uh, gaming. If you need any help or questions or anything, let me know in the comments below. And as well, let me know how you think about the weapon, if you're going to build it, if you have it, if you enjoy it. Let me know what you think about the build. What's left for me to say is if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, um, like, and enjoy have fun i'll see you next time guys stay hydrated it's so hot this year it's very hot stay hydrated stay hydrated stay hydrated and away from the sun eat ice cream watermelon all day long and see ya